And now for the adventures of Lightning Jim. I tell you, men, it's time we citizens of Gold Creek took a hand in administering a little quick action justice. Yeah, well, what's your plan? We got to be our own law. How many murders have been committed in this town in the past year? Plenty. Plenty of them. Yes, you're right. How many robberies? How many men have been beaten? Stabbed and shot down. And how many have been punished? Not very many. Yes, the sheriff and his deputies can't find them. Yes, you're right. They can't find them. Now, who's really to blame for all of these crimes? I'll tell you who. The sheriff, his deputies, and Gold Creek's so-called court of law. Hit the nail right on the head. That's right. They don't ever arrest nobody. How is a town that's overrun with men crazy for the sight of gold going to be handled by a sheriff and a few deputies? Yeah. Deputy, no, 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 it can't be done. No, We've got to organize a citizens' committee and force the law down the throats of them who breaks it. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. 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 Wait a second, wait a second, men. Sheriff Brady ain't going to like us doing that, Brennan. What do we care? If we fellas stick together, he's got to like us. Right. Yeah. Yeah. We've got to organize fast. I heard he's already sent for a United States Marshal to put a stop to our taking over the law enforcement. Uh, So we've got to keep these meetings secret till we're strong enough to dish out our own brand of law. Are you with me? Yeah. Yeah. Where was the big dog? Where were you? Law and order were slow in coming to many parts of the Old West. The discovery of gold resulted in a frantic rush for claims by every class of people. Honest prospectors rubbed shoulders with outlaws and bandits, gamblers and criminals of the worst kind. Mining camps sprang up overnight, and even though sheriffs were elected and an attempt at law and order made, it was often necessary for the honest citizens to take the law into their own hands to protect their claims, their very lives, from the desperados who flocked to these mushroom mining towns to rob and murder. And that was why Lightning Jim, the famous United States Marshal and his field deputy, Whitey Larson, came to Gold Creek in answer to the sheriff's call for aid in establishing law. We find the two famous marshals discussing their assignment on their way to the mining town. See, Lightning, I don't know yet the is exactly why we are going to Gold Creek. Well, since everybody and his brothers rushing into Nevada looking for gold, Whitey... Law and order's become a standing joke. Outlaws are seldom caught and hardly ever convicted. Oh, sure, but letting all the gold rush taunts are like that. Sure, sure. But it seems gold trick citizens want to take the law into their own hands. They organized the citizens' committee. Call themselves the vigilantes. Oh, vigilantes. Yeah. So we're going to help them round up the local bad man. A vicious lobo by the name of Carl Stewart. Carl Stewart? Yes. Yeah. Seems he's been going around killing promiscuous like. And he don't leave no tracks. Well, see, wait a minute now. Let me now, get this trouble, straight. what's the trouble, Whitey? What's the trouble? Uh, well, well, we are going to go to Creek to, to find tracks where they in. We work with the sheriff and the vigilantes who don't work with each other. And we're going to capture a bad man. And by golly, I think we better get going. <laughs> no sooner said than done, Whitey. Let's go thunder. Come on. A 
On the following night, an elderly merchant of Gold Creek was robbed and cruelly beaten by two men. The sheer brutality of the crime, coupled with the inactivity of the officers of the law, started some of the citizens of Gold Creek on the warpath. However, citizen David Bourdieu and his wife Judy are more interested in their firstborn than in local justice. <laughs> oh, there, there, darling. <laughs> why does he always cry when he's put to bed? <laughs> well, honey, why do I always hate to get up in the morning? <laughs> oh, no, 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 darling. Go to sleep. Mother and Daddy will be right in the next room. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him double up that fist, will you? He's drunk. Yeah, he's mad, honey. That's why. <laughs> he's got his mother's temper. Oh, what do you mean, Mother? <laughs> Just like you. Oh, come on now. Let's walk right out and close the door. We gotta start in being firm with him. David Verdu, how can you be firm with an adorable little mite like this? Well, it's hard, all right. I'll admit that. But now, if you don't start in early, that little mite's gonna develop into dynamite. Oh. So come on, Mama. <laughs> out of the room you go. <laughs> uh, I can still hear him. Mm. He's gotta get used to the dark. You know, when he grows up and starts calling on the gals, he'll like the dark. <laughs> Dave, shame on you to talk about a little baby like that. <laughs> well, now, my memory serves me right. You never objected when I turned down the lamp. Why, I, why Dave, I never yeah, in my life... That's the best part about being married. What is? <laughs> Fella don't have to turn down the lamp and keep one eye on the parlor door when he's making love. <laughs> well, I'm going right back into the room with my son. Uh, all right, honey. <laughs> well, listen. Who in the world can that be? Sounds like a regiment. Yeah, sure do. Well, look, honey, they're coming in here. Well, what do you think about? Well, I... Reach for the ceiling, Stuart. And a surprise, yeah, Stuart. Here, yeah, yeah. what is all this? What are you talking about? Our name isn't Stuart. Sorry, ma'am, but we'll have to ask you to step aside. This man's going with us. Don't you dare touch I'll him. Take it easy, Judy. But, but they called you Stuart. Please, dear. Now then, you fellas will just tell me what you want and just who I'm supposed to be. Now, don't try to play the innocent. You know why, why we want you. Come on, come on, vamos. Just a minute, partner. Now, you men can force me to go with you, but I am going to insist on knowing what for. Oh, you want to know what what, what for, do you, huh? <laughs> well, I'll tell you. Because two thieving skunks robbed old man Hermie Jensen last night and most oh. beat him to death. And we happen to know for certain that a fellow by the name of Carl Stewart was one of the pair that tortured and robbed the old man. That's, uh, Carl Stewart? Yes. And what's that got to do with me? Plenty. Some of the boys that have seen this, Stewart... See that you're him. What? Oh, yes. Oh, Tell good him. Lord, you don't think I'd do a thing like that? Be the poor old man? And my husband's name is David Berdu. All right, all right. Your name's Berdu and you ain't Stuart. What have you got to lose by going to the hospital with us, facing old man Jensen and seeing if he recognizes sure, you? Sure, sure. If you're innocent, prove it. Yeah, 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 you yeah, you've prove got it. to prove you're innocent. Personally, I think it's your job to prove he's guilty. Never mind arguing, honey. I'm not afraid to face old man Jensen or anybody else. Now you're talking. Yeah. Talk's cheap. Yeah. David, are you sure you're doing the right thing going with now, these now, men? Now, 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 be all right, hon. After you've found out that he's innocent, please let him come home right away. I, I can't go with him on account of our baby. If he's innocent, ma'am, he'll be home pronto. But if he's guilty, well, come on, Stuart. Hey, yeah, man, let's get out of here. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> Please, please fix it so he'll come home soon. Very soon. For Jesus' sake, amen. All right, men. Here we are at the hospital. Uh, there's no need for all of us to go in. Lank and me, you'll take Stuart in. The rest of you can wait out here. Oh, yes, okay, just to say, but hurry along. Hey, take off your hat, Lank. Uh, 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 mm-hmm. yeah, and remember, there's sick people in here. So lift your boots high and let them down easy. Yeah. Oh, howdy. Uh, howdy. Uh, what can I do for you, gentlemen? We got the coyote here that robbed and beat old man Jensen. But before taking action... We want to be dead sure. So we want Jensen to identify him. Yes, very well. Bring your man along, but you'll have to be brief and very quiet. Jensen's in bad shape. Brain concussion. All right, Doc. 
Come on, Stuart. I told you my name's not Stuart. We'll let old Jensen decide that when he takes a squint at you. Gentlemen, quiet now, please. Jensen uh, is in this room here. Yeah. Mr. Jensen. Yes? Uh, yes. Your boy, yes? There are some men here who would like a word with you. Yes? Well, well what, what do you want? Uh, Mr. Jensen, we want you to take a good look at this varmint here. Uh, is he one of the snakes that beat and robbed you? Uh, which man? Which one is he? This man right here. Why, he, he looks like the one. What? Yes. Yes, yes it's him. Yeah. He tried to kill me. Take him away. Why, Take the man's out of his head. Look again, Mr. Jensen, please. Think what it means to me if you're wrong. Now, look at me closely. Yes, yes. Yes, you're the one that hit me over the head. Please, take him away. He might hit me again. I, I'm, take I'm him sorry, away, gentlemen. gentlemen please, I'm sorry. Please. But you've excited him, him too away. much already. Now, you'll have to leave. Right All right, Doc. We've heard enough. Yes, plenty. But I... Get moving, Stuart. What are you going to do to me? Well, I... I got a right to know where you're taking me. Answer me. What are you going to do to me? What do you think? No. No. No, you can't do that. Johnson was out of his mind. You gotta give me a chance. I tell you, you gotta give me a little time. You got from this hospital to Hangman's Tree to get right with your God. Well, Better start praying, Stuart. Stuart. You better tell us who your partner was and ease your conscience a bit before you cash in. Yes, we'll get him anyway. I've told you over and over again, I'm not the man you want. The only way to put the fear of God into rats like you is put a rope around your neck and pull the ground That's away right. from you. Yes, yes. Yes. And here's the spot where we're going to jerk you skyward. Yes. No. Right here, boys. Here, we'll use your rope, Lank. It's an honor, Mr. Brennan. Now, throw it over that big limb. Now, listen, right, up, if you'll just give me a few hours, I can prove it. I'm innocent. Shut up. Hey, here comes two riders. Yeah, look. Get that rope around his neck. Men, no, right. no. we're not tolerating any interference. Oh, sir, not this time, all right. Well, well, Stuart, how do you like the feel of that knot in your neck, eh? No, 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 last chance. Are you going to tell us who your thieving, murdering partner was? I, I swear before God, I'm not the man you think I am. All right, it's your funeral. Keep on the rope, man. Oh, no, no, no. Hey, now, Hold on there. Hold on there. Don't pull on that rope. Get ready for trouble, boys. Yeah. All right, no, don't reach for your six guns. Sorry to have to spoil your little necktie party, men. But my natural curiosity makes me have to ask, what's this fella done? I don't see how that's any of your business. Ah, oh, you. This man here's an outlaw. He's killed a lot of men. Just last night, robbed and tortured an old man. No, I didn't, I didn't. I've tried to tell him that I'm Let not... Let me handle this, son. What's his name? Carl Stewart. No, it's not. My God, it's the worry man. They're looking for it. See, we're lucky. It looks that way, Whitey. Gentlemen, this man's my prisoner. What? Stewart, you're under arrest. Oh, What's that, God? What are you talking about? But my you name's for you, not him. Stewart. Now, just a minute, partner. I got some natural curiosity myself. Just who are you? That's yeah. what I want to know. Who are yeah. you? Yes, who are you? Well, I'm man. Jim Whipple, United States Marshal. Huh? This is my deputy, Whitey Larson. Yo, oh, and we're asking you polite like to take that rope from around that fellow's neck. Are you lightning, Jim Whipple? The same. Now, I want Not you to... Not so fast, Marshal. Well? We, that is the boys here and myself, ain't aiming to let the law have this murdering coyote just to hold for a little while and then to turn him loose. Yeah. I could say that. We brought him here to stretch rope. And by thunder, he's going to stretch it. That's right. Yeah, he's going to pay for it. Hold on. Hold on. Listen to me, all of you. The two of us are going to take this man to jail to wait trial. And if anybody tries to stop us, it's going to be just too bad. Well, I'm one which says you ain't going to interfere. I broke my wrist. Sorry, 
I warned you. Sure, you must look you yeah, I didn't shoot too. Anybody else got any objection to our taking this fellow along? No? Get your horse, Stuart, and come with us. Yes, sir. But I'm not Stuart. You ain't going to get away with this, Marshal. What makes you think we won't? This here's the Citizens Committee. We've had all we can stand from them law courts of yours. Yeah. Oh, you have, eh? I'm going to call a meeting of all the citizens of Gold Creek, and we'll tear down that rotten courthouse. Yeah, that yeah. Well, there's nothing to stop you from trying, but you better be figuring on a little opposition. Yo, oh, and you can take my word for it. You'll find your uncle Sam pretty powerful opposition. Come on, Stuart. Let's go thunder. <laughs> Is David Berdieu the outlaw Carl Stewart? Will the Citizens Committee attempt to tear down the Gold Creek Courthouse after Lightning Jim and Whitey have had time to warn the authorities? Be sure to listen to the surprising climax to this Lightning Jim adventure told in part two, which follows immediately. And now for part two of the Lightning Jim adventure, Disorder in the Court. Having rescued an accused outlaw from the hands of an irate citizens committee and turned him over to the sheriff, Lightning Jim is off to investigate the outlaw's story, that he is not Carl Stewart, bad man, but David Berdieu, honest citizen. Whitey has been left in charge of a posse quickly organized to protect the Gold Creek Courthouse from an attack by the vigilantes, who insist on seeing Carl Stewart hanged. It was a hard job to find men who were willing to serve on the jury that was to try Stewart. However, 12 men were finally selected, and the first trial by jury in Gold Creek is now underway. The small courtroom is packed. Outside the courthouse, an angry mob mutters and surges back and forth. Some of the jury look just a trifle too pale as the judge addresses them. Order in the court. Order, please. Gentlemen of the jury, you have heard the evidence. The victim identified the accused before three witnesses as one of the two men who beat and robbed him. Witnesses that have seen Stewart testify that the accused is either Stewart or his double. On the other hand, the accused has produced evidence that he has been living as a law-abiding citizen of this city. United States Marshal Whipple has searched diligently for evidence that there might be still at large a man named Carl Stewart. To date, he has not produced such a person. I don't want you to be influenced by the yowling of that mob out there. Now, that is all. Let the sheriff know when you have reached a verdict. Look how frightened the jury looks. Oh, Dave, I'm afraid, terribly afraid. Steady, old girl. Just listen to them. How can we expect a fair verdict with the jury hearing that mob threaten their lives? Well, they don't sound soothing, that's the fact. Oh, why doesn't Lightning Jim come back? He's been gone two whole days. Well, you can bet your life that there is such a fellow as Carl Stewart. Lightning won't come back without him. You believe Dave's innocent, don't you, Whitey? Well, as deputy United States Marshal, I will have to believe whatever the jury says here. But that's plain right, the Larson. I tell you, your husband is one fine feller. Thanks, Whitey. I won't forget that. Oh, I think Lightning Jim feels the same way about it. That's why he's looking extra hard for the Stuart feller. Uh-huh. Certainly hope he finds him. 
Oh, if that jury would only hurry and reach a verdict quickly, I can't stand this waiting. Dave, they just can't find you guilty. Nothing so horrible can happen to us. Listen. Listen, Whitey. Oh, you hear that? Hang Carl Stewart. Oh, don't you pay no attention to them. Take me out of here, Whitey. I can't stay here and listen to that. Stop. Stop that, you hear me? Stop it. Stop it. Stop, stop. the verdict. We have. You may read it. Pay no attention to outside disturbances. Read your verdict. Uh, uh, we, uh, uh, we, 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 uh, order, order, order in the court, order. What is the meaning of this outrage? Is there any one of you coyotes that have the nerve to speak out for the pact? I nominate myself as a committee of one, Judge. And who are you? Brannon's the name. Big Joe Brannon. We're all here to see that that murderer gets what's coming to us. Order! Order! Hold on a second. In the first place, seeing that justice is done is the court's business. And in the second place... The prisoner is charged with robbery and assault, not murder. Yeah? Then you better change it to murder. I just came from the hospital. Old man Jensen died less than a half hour ago. Oh, that that makes the way to murder. Oh, my God. <laughs> order, order! Order! If the spectators do not show the proper respect for the law, I'll clear the court. With what? <laughs> order, please. Brannon? Are you the ringleader of this mob? This ain't no mob, Judge. This is a citizens' committee. Yeah. We're vigilantes. Yeah. We just dropped in casual like to see that you and the jury do a good job. Yeah. You're talking mighty big, Brannon. You'll find us ready to back up big talk with trigger action, Judge. Yeah. Just what yeah. the yeah. 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 Let that man through. Yeah. Make way for that man. Can I say just a word, Your Honor? And who is speaking? Jim Whipple, Your Honor. United States Marshal. I've got a man here, and he's got something powerfully important to say. He's badly wounded. Will you give him a hearing? Why, certainly, Marshal Whipple. Who is he? Here he is, here. Your Honor. I... I'm the much-wanted Carl Stewart. Carl Stewart! Carl Stewart! Stewart. Take a good look at... at the prisoner, Boudou. Boudou? Now... Now look at me. Quiet, please. Why, it, it is. It's amazing. Well, Judge, we... <coughs> we... We do look a, a lot alike, don't we? You look enough alike to be brothers. What? Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> sure. I imagine us being brothers. <laughs> no... We ain't no relation. Your Honor, this man's name is not Carl Stewart. He Shut is... up! Shut up. I I know who I am. I know what I've done. I beat up Jensen and robbed him. You mean killed him? All right, then. I killed him. And I know that... I know that everything I say will be used against me. <laughs> I, I got here just in time to... Well, a necktie party. I wouldn't be too sure about yeah. that. No, and I wouldn't Silence. be there because... Silence in the court. Go on, Stuart. Thanks, Judge. I, I got to finish in a hurry. But you... You can't do nothing to this man. He don't know what it's all about. But do just had the rotten luck to look like me, and... You can't hang him for that. <laughs> you can't hang him... Can't hang me. Why can't we hang you? Because I, 
I won't live long enough for you to hang me. Your Honor, I can testify that this man is the real Carl Stewart. I've been trailing him for two days. I cornered him in Virginia City last night. The local sheriff and me shot it out with him. The sheriff got him as he was running for his horse. Yeah. He got me in a bad, bad spot on the left side under the heart. When I told him about Virginia being on trial for a crime he committed, he insisted on riding over from Virginia City at once. He's game. I'll say that. Uh, thanks, Marshal. You ain't so worse yourself. Better sit down, Stuart. Oh, uh, bailiff, get Dr. Peterson at once. No, no. Never mind the doctor, Judge. I, I just... I just want to be sure that you know Badu is, is innocent. I am positive of that, yes. That's great, Judge. That's great. That takes a lot off of my mind. Well, uh, goodbye and good luck, Badu, old kid. Uh, I'm glad... I'm glad to meet you. Somebody get a glass of water. Quick. Call a doctor. Call a doctor. Don't bother, Judge. You don't need neither one. Now. Uh, now, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Your Honor. Uh, we the order jury. the court, please. All right. Now, Your Honor, we, we the jury, have reached our second verdict. Uh, what? Oh, 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 yes, yes, of course. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, read it, please. We, the jury, find the accused not guilty. <laughs> now, wait a minute, wait a minute now. Now, wait just a minute. We we got a P.S. here. Uh, uh P.S.? Yep. Hey, what the... Uh, P.S. We, the jury, publicly apologize for the first verdict we reached. And we wanted to go on record that we're... Doggone glad that I didn't get a chance to read it. In spite of all the trouble he's caused us, Dave, I, I can't help but feel sorry for him. There must have been some good in him. Yeah. One of his kids is pretty bad sometimes. But he was always sorry afterwards. Dave... Do you mean that Carl Stewart was Yes, your... Judy. Oh. He was my brother. Oh. Goodness. His name was Carl Berdu. We always looked alike. Folks used to take us for twins. Yeah. Mother was always mighty proud of the name Berdu. I'm glad he changed his name to Stewart. For her sake. <laughs> And so ends another chapter in the adventures of Lightning Jim Whipple, United States Marshal, and his deputy, Whitey Larson. Mm -hmm.